Viewer, watch out. We're in for a shout. Guess what time it is? It's Halloween. Yeah, that's right. It's October 1st. And it that means it's scary month. That means it's time to play scary games. And you know what time it is in addition to it being scary month? It's time to play Grab by the Ghoulies again. So, this is going to be the most nostalgic stream I have ever done. Because in case you are unaware, in case you are unaware, this is the first game I ever did a playthrough of on YouTube. Ever. Uh, Jordy, thank you for the sub. It's been a long road, man, thinking back to this. I recorded a playthrough of this when I was like 15 years old. It has since been deleted because I'm 24 now and I don't really want 15 year old me content on my page. Hopefully you understand that. But last time I played this, I promised I'd 100% it and I didn't. So I think that now, now we have to do that. It's been a very, very long time. I haven't played it since that playthrough. But this game is very, very underappreciated. This is one of my favorite rare games, and nobody talks about it. Nobody ever talks about how good it is, or how charming it is, or how fun it is. I love this game. So, let's do it. One other thing I want to add. So this game, I checked it out just to see how it ran. It runs in 4x3 for the cutscenes, but then, when you get to the gameplay, they like, updated the fuck out of this. It runs at like 1080p, 60fps, full widescreen, it looks beautiful, but just uh, be aware. Be aware that it's gonna look a little 4x3. But, if you've never seen this game, you're in for a treat. It's pretty damn awesome. Also, let me know about the volume, this is the first time I've ever streamed from a Xbox, so I don't know if the volume's gonna be different or what. If 15 year old Mike is gone, then why does Mike still exist? Very good question. But here we've got it. This was Rare's first Xbox game also since the uh, since they were acquired by Microsoft. So this was originally planned as a GameCube title and then they, they transferred it. This sounds quiet. Ugh. None of these creatures even show up in the game. Oh man, this is such a fucking trip, man. This is such a trip. Alright, I'm not gonna watch this, it's just a demo. Alright, it's a little quiet. Yeah, it looks like it got a little quieter. HBK, thank you for the sub. So, clear- right off the bat, this game reminds me of Luigi's Mansion. This was like, the Xbox's version of Luigi's Mansion. Man, this is nuts. This is so weird. This is like, taking me way back. The only difference now is that I've got a chat- like, last time I did this on my own. I remember I recorded this, we had like, an old shitty Windows XP, and the fucking monitor was on the floor. Like, it was on the fucking floor of my living room, and I had to wait for my family to go to bed, and then I recorded it in 10 minute chunks. Remember when Let's Plays used to have to be 10 minutes long? 10 minute fucking chunks. This, this, the episode would be half over already. It's been 5 minutes. Or 3 minutes, it's been 5 minutes since I started streaming. Let's do it. Also, these things look just like Jinjos, so there's a lot of Banjo stuff here. There's a lot of Banjo callbacks and references and all that, but let's begin. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be so good. So yeah, these are 4x3, but the game itself looks beautiful. You'll see. Oh man, these character designs, holy shit. Oh, this is so fucking great. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, I'm sure we should have taken a right back there. Now we're lost and there's a storm coming. We need to find some shelter and fast! Oh, Jesus! I also spoiled the ending of this game in my original playthrough because there's a twist. How about in that old house? I love the, the cutscene style of this game too. Giraffes is the main antagonist of this game. <laughs> hmm? Hmm? That's right, my pretties! Come on in and say hello! Uh-oh. I can't even, like, read that. No way! Let's carry on and try to make it to the next village! 
Places like this are always full of creeps, or worse. <laughs> Fucking Luigi looking ass. Me? A creep? Baron Von Ghoul? How dare he? I do believe a lesson in manners is required here. <laughs> this is Waluigi's mansion. Yeah, this game is early 2000s. It was, it was a very, very early title for the Xbox. I remember being, like, angry when this game first came out because there was a, on the box art, it said, from the creators of Donkey Kong Country. I was like, you can't write Donkey Kong on an Xbox game. What the fuck are you doing? Hey, get your hands off her! She was grabbed by the ghoulies. There it is. Excellent. Two new additions to my collection. I must make arrangements to make sure they're most unwelcome. Why do you love this game so much? Mostly because of nostalgia. This is like... This is like going back 10 years and doing what I did when I was 15 years old. Except it's so different now. I mean, I haven't changed... I've, pl I've changed a lot. I do still like seltzer, though, so that's, that's a plus. Back then, I think I called it bubble water, though. So, changed a little bit in that regard. I thought this was going to be a Goonies game. It is, dude. Goonies. Grabbed by the Goonies. I believe this character's name is Cooper, if I'm correct. I think I called it Bubble Water because I think that's what my little sister called it. Oh my god. This- I remember this! <gasps> I sound just like him. Watch. Wait, wait till he makes that noise. He goes, oh! What's all this noise? I'm trying to get some sleep! And who turned the lights out? Oh no. Oh, oh. Oh, the ghoulies! Leave me alone! <laughs> they look just like fucking Jinjos, just with horns. They're just Jinjos! Oh my god, these character designs. Alright, so watch how beautiful this game looks. Look at this! Look what they did! It looks so great! I suggest Sir uses the left thumbstick to move and holds the right thumbstick in directions he wishes to attack. I think those little critters are starting to look hungry! Every time you see a new ghoulie, it's introduced with a little screen, so these are imps. Now look it. This is why this game is neat. So you walk around, right? You point the stick in the direction you want to attack. So you kick left, right, backwards, forwards. Just get the fuck out of here. It's so fun. And there's a hidden book in every room of the mansion, so I gotta collect these. I remember these. What's that rare weighty tome sir has just picked up? Why, I do believe it's a bonus book! Keep your eyes peeled for more, as from here on, every visit to a room will have one. Collecting them should earn sir something interesting! So... My favorite part of this game is how destructible everything is, and the, how fucking guttural these these attacks are. Look at this shit! Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Well done, sir. You certainly seem very capable of battling unarmed. In addition to your fists, you may use certain items of furniture and other objects as weapons. Look for the grab icon. I wonder if that's reused from the piano player in Banjo-Kazooie. That looks like his talking icon. Press the A button to pick up a weapon, and move the right thumbstick in the direction Sir wishes to attack. May I give you cook special reinforced chair? Sadly not, everything is well made. So, another great part of this game... ...is that you can pick up, like, almost any piece of furniture and use it as a weapon, which I thought was fucking awesome as a kid. Also, how's the volume? Is it too quiet? I can turn it up a bit, if you'd like. Maybe I'll turn it to... ...three. Deary me, sir is locked in! This means you will have to complete a challenge to escape! Hmm. The gravestone icon means sir must defeat all the ghoulies in the room to complete the challenge. Hmm. That's every last one, so get to it! So that's another mechanic of this game that they're showing off right now. The icon at the top left is your, like, objective, and each room has one. Sometimes you'll have to destroy a specific ghoulie, sometimes you'll have to find a key, sometimes you're, you can't destroy a specific ghoulie. It's very cool. Get the fuck away from me, you babies! Oh, man. 
this is so this is great. This game is fucking awesome. So then you you clear the challenge and you can leave the room. God, I hope I look like that when I'm old. You know, that's that's like that's like the different like Cooper is me from when I was 15 year old doing this this playthrough and now that's me now. That's scary. That's sad. I grew up. I grew up. What's crazy is this stream on YouTube will probably get like 2,000 views and the original playthrough I did, I think it got like 100,000, <laughs> which is crazy. Splendid, sir! You did it! You may now leave through this door and begin the search for your friend! Mm -hmm. Crivens is my name, and I'm the lowly butler here at Ghoulhaven Hall. May I have the pleasure of making sir's acquaintance? The name's Cooper! Pleased to meet you, sir. I shall pop up from time to time should you need any help. Let me remove that chair for now. Mm. Oh, I forgot to say, sir may discard weapons by pressing the B button. Handy if sir is carrying one weapon but would like to use another. Mm. Oh. Let me also give you this map. It will show sir's whereabouts and at times points of interest. You may access it from the pause screen. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah, 100,000 views and I spoiled the ending in the first part. I think it was the only playthrough of the game on YouTube at the time, which is why. I remember I saw a playthrough of Banjo-Tooie by some dude who I don't remember the name of, and I was like, this is cool. People play games on YouTube, they, they can just do that? So I was like, I want to do that. What game should I do? So I didn't want to do Banjo because that guy was doing Banjo. So I was like, I'll, I'll, pl I'll play Ghoulies. And I did, and it was fun. And I think that my capture card, I was using a fucking Dazzle at the time. It was fucked up, so there were like scan lines running down the whole thing. It was crazy. Was it Cypheron? That sounds right. That sounds right. It was like a decade ago, so... At least. At least a decade ago. Wait, was he cross-eyed? Look at Cooper. You have to use the camera with the R and L triggers. Oh, he looks like he gets a little cross-eyed when he... You seeing that? <laughs> Why does he do that? Oh! 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 Fuck! Oh! More, sir! Oh! I love this art. Look at the little imp. Chapter one: The Rescue. So right off the bat, you get us. All right, that's really loud. That's really loud. I'm turning that down. You get a spook minigame. Gadzook, sir, has suffered a super scary shock and successfully overcome it. I hope it doesn't happen again, sir. So you get, like, Shrek. You get, like, Banjo and Kazooie. Do you see them? I'm pretty sure that's Konga. Ugh. I always thought this was a weird inclusion to have right at the beginning of the game because this is, like, something that doesn't happen very often. But yeah, this was supposed to come out on the GameCube, and there's like an Xbox box in one of the rooms that you can destroy. And I'm pretty sure it was originally a GameCube box. It's weird. It's weird to think that this, like, this could have been a GameCube classic, and it, it, now it's an Xbox classic, in cor according to me. I'm not controlling this, by the way, in case you could, couldn't tell. Yo, this bullwinkle. This is such a weird thing. Am I only gonna get scared twice? Kazoople. Ooh. Ooh. Is that Conga? We have 300 viewers for this, so thank you very, very much. I wonder how many of you were here for the original playthrough when I was 15 years old. Hey guys, welcome to my Ghoulies playthrough. Um. Shut up, Mom! I'm trying to record a YouTube video! Hey, um. So. Um. Um, hi. Hi, YouTube. Remember to subscribe. Ah, the door ahead is open, sir. Not all doors will be tr will trap you inside a room. It seems sir may walk straight through this one. Did I mention that sir may also rotate the camera with the left and right triggers? Doing so is highly recommended as keeping one's foes in sight as obvious tactical advantages. Um, so there's the rare tome in this in this room. Let's grab that. Bringo. So you can like, you could pick up anything. 
I love these character designs so much. This is what I'm talking about, man. Everyone says like, oh, Rare went to shit when Microsoft bought them. They didn't. Rare stayed good for a very, very long time. Rare only started turning to shit when the Kinect came out. But like, this is still just as good. I love this game. How are we doing tonight? We're doing good. So we have entered Spook Month. After this, we're doing Silent Hill. I got lots of stuff planned for the month. So just uh, buckle in. Sports shoes ready. Let's go. Oh boy. Did I ever play Cameo? I fucking love Cameo and I'm gonna do a stream of it at some point. Now that I have it, able to stream. Mm, help me! Did you see the dude in the window? Oh yeah. oh yeah! Don't worry, I'm here to save the day! Oh yes! Cooper, get fucked, dude. I suppose that is what he's trying to do, is get fucked. But these ghoulies keep getting in the way. Oh, cripes! I think the cinema is on the other side of that wall. Sir can reach it by going back through the billiard room, I believe. Oh, gaming room. This is where the Xbox box is. You see it? By Jove, Sir appears locked in again, which means it's challenge time once more. Find the key. Yeah, all right. So this challenge is just... uh. The more rare iron- oh dear, my master won't be happy about all of this damage. Yeah, okay. So, this challenge, it doesn't matter. I think the enemies just keep spawning, and you have to find the, uh, you have to find the key, which is cool, because it's like it mixes up the gameplay. It's not always just beating the fuck out of enemies. I mean, that's a big part of it, but you gotta be careful. You gotta find shit. <gasps> Alright, I'm pretty sure it's in the Xbox container, but let's look around a little bit. Because I'm still marveling at how nice this looks. This looks really, really good. I don't think this game originally ran in widescreen. Found the book. I wish someone would grab me by the ghoulies. Me too, explosion. Me too. So how are you guys doing tonight? How, how is your October going so far? Look, there's Conker's Bad Fur Day. Look at this. Look at all these Easter eggs. Look at all these. Look how big those fucking Xbox containers are. They're the size of this dude up to his waist. Bad. Good. Alright, let's- I bet it's in here. Hmm, excuse me, sir, but aren't you supposed to be searching for the key by break- Shut the fuck up! <laughs> He's on a dartboard. <laughs> oh, pretty sure it's in here. Yeah, there it is. Remember, kids, kick your Xbox. Alright, cool. I got it. I love the music in this game, too. I believe Grant Kirkhope did this score, but I'm not sure. Cookie. Ultimate. Play the game. Ultimate play the game. I think. Yo, shit, is this Danganronpa? Get this shit out of here. Was the original 60 FPS? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm fucking impressed as hell. Yeah, some items are throwables, some items are swingables, some some items are like one-time use things. You'll see when I get to the uh, billiard room again. All right, let's go. All right, guys, this is the end of part two. I'll see you tomorrow for part three. Remember to like and subscribe. Like, honestly, it's been 20 minutes already. That's two parts. YouTube used to have a 10-minute upload limit. Oh, I forgot about this. Think you're doing so well, eh? Let's see how you cope with having your maximum energy interfered with. In fact, I do believe I shall tinker with your ticker in every room from now on. I'm so dastardly, yes I am. Mwahaha! <laughs> Cranby, thank you for the sub. Yeah, so every room you enter, this dude randomizes your health. Oh wait, are there two books? Like, this is the second time I'm coming through this room. Do you get a new book every time? Sir has collected five bonus books, which means a bonus challenge has been unlocked. Great. Remember, every time Sir collects five bonus books, a challenge unlocks. Okay, so we'll do the challenges, too. Don't you ticker. Tinker with my ticker. I think they jump out of the paintings, right? Yeah, how do I fucking remember that? I wonder if that's the same animation they used in Banjo-Kazooie when things popped out of paintings. 
A ghoulie head icon with a number next to it means Sir must defeat the required number of that ghoulie to escape. Break some bones. Oh my god, look at the- look at the little fisticuffs. Look at his fucking fisticuffs! The skeletons sound so fucking pathetic in this game. Digi, thank you for the sub! Watch this shit. The pool table is gonna go. Right? Right? <laughs> How do I remember that? Holy shit, it's been like a decade. I have a very, very large fondness for this game, but watch this shit. Watch this shit. Play of the game. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Do you drink hashtag Gogurt? Yeah. I love hashtag Gogurt. How strong is this kid? I don't know, dude, but he fucking picked up a pool table and swung it around like a goddamn maniac. But it's crazy because you see people like from Rare just talk about how shitty this game is. They like they're like no one remembers Ghoulies. This game is in the every garbage disposal. Every, like, dumpster in Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts is full of copies of this game. I don't think this game sold at all. Ah, the coast is clear, so we'll find the cinema just along the corridor and through the first door on the left. This game did not sell at all. And they constantly poke fun at it. What's this? Seems Ma Soup's will, our cook, has left a super soup. Super soup! They come in many interesting flavors. Okay. That's just one health. Um, and then, like, I think Kazooie refers to this game. Oh, shit. Ah! Kazooie, like, refers to this game by name in the intro of, of Nuts and Bolts. She's like, oh, is it as bad as Ghoulies? Kriven, sir, has suffered a bit of a scare. It happen If that happens again, try to avoid the effect before it gets you. I don't remember there being this many pop-ups of text. I think if I were in charge of this game, I would have made the text appear as you, like, are playing, so you don't have to stop every time he talks. But I think this is still, like, tutorial stuff, so... But there's, like, crazy parts where you get guns in this game. Ah! Spider! But there's, like, the variety in ghoulies is so cool in this game. There's, like, some ghoulies that can only be hurt by certain elements. It's so neat. Jiroku, thank you for the sub. It's great. Look at that. Look at that fucking... He's fucking doing... Ah! It's crazy because I'm starting to think about how different I am from back then. I'm a very, very different person than I used to be. Even, like, two years ago. But, like, I still find the same things funny. Like, this is still funny to me. Look at this. If I ever find this not funny, then I, I'm ready to leave this earth. I'm ready to leave this earth if I ever don't find a, mu a mummy doing this funny. Strawberry, thank you for the sub. If I miss subs, I apologize. I can't really read them super easily because it's on a different screen. I want to go in there. Look at the little sailor boy. Look at the fucking little sailor dude. Oh shit, I almost forgot about this. Don't let me forget these, these bonus books, fellas. Alright guys, don't worry, I'll get all the bonus books! And then like at the end of the stream I was like, I don't think so, I don't think I'm gonna get them anymore. He was a sailor boy, he said see a sailor boy. Oh shit, oh yeah, there's, re there's children that you need to save in this game too. What's she doing here? She's one of the many poor young souls that the Baron has kidnapped and taken prisoner. Only he has the key to set them free. I'll save you, don't worry, I'll come back later. Do the cross-eyed. But yeah, there's like, hidden kids- Why did this guy kidnap children? I don't know. I don't think you have to think about it. Shouldn't you like, call the cops? Yeah, there's telephones. There was just a telephone that rang. But Cooper doesn't fucking think to call the police. Why? Why would you call the police in this situation? There's no need. But yeah, there's- there's like, hidden kids everywhere. And this dude who fucking runs around pretending to be an airplane is like, Yes, I'll steal more children! Oh shit, that's a chicken. Oh boy. 
<laughs> These are such classic designs, holy shit. <sighs> Please, will you quit goofing around and get me off of this chair? Oh, don't panic. Okay, don't panic. Try to hop away from that fireplace. How is he looking down it if it's already closed? Oh no, she must have fallen into the archives! There's a set of stairs Sir can use back in the gaming room, which is just on the other side of the suspicious looking fireplace. I'll run ahead and open the basement door for you. Okay. Cooper, you dumb, dumb idiot, dumb, stupid idiot. Look at those fucking chickens. Oh, look at the movie! We got a movie! Oh, man, this is my favorite part. Oh, he's not putting up with this anymore. I don't know. Oh, you fucking bitch! I'm trying to watch a movie! Oh, he's gonna kill. He's gonna kill this guy. He's gonna betray him. Come on. Oh, holy shit! This move... This is such a good game. Don't you remember the Baron's plan was to make a plane out of children so he could take to the skies once more? Oh, right. You're right. That was correct. Alright, let's look for the uh, bonus book. Top 10 anime fights. Don't you get to fight the, uh, the, the chair in the, or the TV? That TV's alive. Watch this. Haunted television! I love how the first couple monsters you fight in this game are like classic. They're like imps, skeletons, spiders, haunted television. It appears the door Sir used to enter the cinema is still locked. You should probably look for a le another less obvious way to go back to the gaming room. There's Klungo! Remember I told you... Rare was still so good at this point in time, and it bums me out that nobody fucking talks about this game. Hopefully this brings it a little more attention. Hopefully this brings it a little more attention. So yeah, in case you couldn't tell, the TV's thing is he spawns lesser enemies until you kill him. And I'm pretty- yeah, he's electric for some times, too. Oh, Mario, thank you for the year of subs. That means a lot to me. That's something I didn't do during my last playthrough. I didn't call out to subs. You know, this is- this game is gonna make me, like, super emotional. Because it's, like, not only a great game, but it, it just makes me think about, like, everywhere I've gone over the last decade, and where I'm at, and how happy I am to, like, be in the place I am streaming and stuff. I don't know. I'm in a very good place right now. I think I need to hit him with stuff. I'm not gonna cry, but it means a lot to me that you guys are still here, and everyone who's, like, supported me at all over the last decade. It means a lot to me. It really, really does. Also, this game gets kind of tough at points, so you're gonna get frustrated with me, just like old times. I mean, this is metal. Shouldn't this... Alright, listen, you fucking piece of shit. I need to find something to throw at him. There's gotta be something I can throw at him. He's fucking pissing me off. He's pissing me off, this television. Don't worry, I'll be back for you. Wait, is this- can I pick this ladder up? Ha! <laughs> oh, he's fucked. Grab by the Ghoulies sold a total of 140,000 copies. 110,000 of which was in North America. Oh my god. Yeah, he's fucked now. Don't try this at home, kids! <laughs> oh my god. Got him. He's dead. Punch the shit out of your TV. Punch your TV. Did I get the bonus book in here? I believe I did. I thought I did. Hmm. I think I did. Maybe I didn't. Can I check? Oh, I did. Alright, it says at the bottom. Okay, it says at the bottom. Cool. Wow, that would have made me dizzy. If your sports team is losing, punch the shit out of your television. Wow, this is the most viewers I've had in a while. 370 is a lot. Thank you very, very much. Alright, so there's a speed up potion I can see over there. I mean soup. I like that this game has soups. Haunted chairs! Oh my god! Is your original playthrough still on YouTube? No, it's not. 
Crikey, haunted chairs! A coolie icon on on its own means Sir only needs to defeat the ghoulies of this one breed. In this case, haunted chairs. <laughs> Fucking haunted chairs. But yeah, the original playthrough isn't on YouTube anymore for a couple reasons. One, I feel like... Well, actually, mainly only one reason. And it's that I, like... When you create content on the internet, you never know what content of yours someone's gonna see first. Like, my humor style, my my sense of humor, my maturity level has changed so drastically over the last, like, several years. And if someone's first experience seeing you is, like, a video of you being 15 years old, that can turn them off from your content forever. And it's like, sometimes you, you gotta pick and choose how you want to be represented on the internet. And I like, I don't like my older stuff representing me anymore. You know, nothing's forever, so... I'm glad where I'm at now, and I'm glad that I'm replaying this game so I can have another playthrough of it on my page. On my- on my web zone. Could've just privated it. Yeah, but there's ways you can see private videos. Is the Monster House game on the list? There's a Monster House game?! Are you kidding? You're exactly the same. I would like to think that I'm not, but you're probably right. Hmm. Why do they sound like old men taking a dump? That's like every ghoulie in this game sounds like that. This is hops. Who the fuck drew hopscotch on the ground? So here's the thing. I think I need to find another book because I'm coming through this room for the second time. Right? 1v1 me on the chessboard, my dude. Let's find it. Let's find the bonus brook. Hello? Do any bonus books in here? Ugh. Oh, dude, Undertale? My favorite. Something came out of that pot. You are different from your younger self. You've since created many, many memes. Did something pop out of the pot? Bogus! Oh yeah, there's like throwables! What other game can you do this? Besides, I don't know, Dead Rising. Move, move. Oh, there it is! Look at that, it's in the fucking playpen. Hello? Uh. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. You should probably waste them all. You can't carry items between rooms, so there's no real reason to, like, have them. Oh shit. There's so many cool locations in this game. It's weird, this game is like such a... It reminds me so much of Luigi's Mansion, but it's so different. It's like, if you only had an Xbox, you could get this and still get some some of that Luigi's Mansion feel. And if you only had a, had a GameCube, you could get some of the Ghoulies feel. Gotta look for the, the bonus book. This kid is strong as shit. Do you see how, how easily he's destroying these things? Get the fuck out of here, you little idiot. I gotta go get my skin folds assessed for this police officer job I'm going for. Have fun. Skin folds assessed? You're going to get your what? What? Look how fast Cooper is. Holy shit. I want some of this soup. This isn't where I encounter mummies for the first time, is it? The mummies in this game are so great. The zombies are great. And there's also a terrifying enemy in this game that you'll see later on. Who is like, essentially similar to the Water Wraith, where he follows you real slowly, and if he touches you, it's game fucking over. So you gotta just avoid him, it's so cool. I'm eating a family-sized mac and cheese all by myself. Good shit. What is this, invincible prop, I think? Super weapons. Okay, cool. Oh, man. Ugh! It's so fucking satisfying. There's no jump button. I'd like to see what they would do if there's like, if there was a jump button, you could do like jump attacks. That would feel cool. 
Hello? I need the book. But yeah, there's plenty on this Rare Replay collection that I want to stream. Um, there's Viva Pinata, Cameo. I'd like to revisit the Banjo games. Uh, Conquer. This is going to be a very, very good source of streams for me. Is the piano from Mario 64 in this game? No, it is not. And there still is nothing scarier than that in any game. Grab by the Ghoulies. If I were to review this game, I would give it a 2 out of 10 and be like, it tried so hard, but it doesn't have the piano from Mario 64, so I can't I can't recommend it. I figured that might do something breaking the generator, but I guess not. The lights are already out. Mike, that's not a generator, you stupid bitch! Sorry. Doesn't the monster mean something? Uh, what is the... Ch Wait, hold on. Doesn't the monster mean something? What does the chair symbol symbolically mean? Oh, at the bottom right? That's how many hits left with your, uh, with your current weapon you have. Oh, listen to that old horn. This is definitely Grant. Definitely Grant. Have you considered streaming the Halo collection? Well, now that I have an Xbox, I mean, it opens up a lot of things. I'm not really into a lot of Xbox exclusives, but Halo is one that I am into, so I'd consider it someday. Mike, that's not a generator you stu- Oh, he already said it. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. There's my bonus book! Inside the sarcophagus. Open sarcophagus and get skeleton bonus book. The music is really low compared to the sounds. Yeah, it is. It's very, very quiet. There's no way to adjust that, though. I can try to turn it up a tiny bit. Alright. I feel like like there's certain parts of this game, like the, the scares, that are way louder than everything else. And there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Oh. There he is. I knew we'd encounter him. Blimey! A mummy! Be careful how you battle this dehydrated fellow, sir! I have a tip for you. Did you know that if you get knocked dizzy, you might be able to snap out of it sooner if you go in a spin? <laughs> Don't get chummy with the mummy. When am I streaming Young Sheldon off my Xbox? Good question. Now you may be saying, Michael, how are you? Why aren't you doing damage to this dude? It's because the mummy can't be hurt by re regular attacks. Oh, Mario Del Sol, thank you for the sub. Mm, your attacks don't seem to be able to harm it, sir. Take this special candle. A little fire should do the trick. Attack using the right thumbstick as normal. Beware, though, the gauge in the bottom right corner of the screen shows how much fuel it holds. If it empties, you'll run out of flames. Uh, dispose of the dried up delinquent and I'll leave the candle with you for now. So, in rooms where th with mummies, you gotta find fire. You have to find a way to, to get rid of them. Look at that. This, the animations are so good. It just... This game has so much charm to it. And nobody fucking played it. Fire! Look at him. Oh! Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah! 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 yeah. Uh. This is great. I'm having a blast. I'm having so much fun. And then after this, Silent Hill 2, which I've never played, so that'll be a blind playthrough. Oh, I see the bonus book. Let me get. Let me go. Let me go get it. <laughs> this is really nostalgic. It's crazy. Oh, man. Like, it's just taking me back. It's so weird. Like, I can... I can fucking remember mm -hmm. sitting on my, my fucking living room floor recording these. Yo, is that Harry Potter? Mm -hmm. No, there was one kid that looked like Harry Potter a lot. Mm -hmm. Cooper, don't be such a little bitch. Come on. I don't know what the point of this first person segment is because I'm just gonna walk mm -hmm. back because there was a bonus book. Am I missing out on sick lore if I don't know Silent Hill 1? No, I was told that 2 is, like, separate. Ah! Ah! See, that's so much louder. I need to go back and get my bonus book. Sorry, kid. I'll, I'll help you. Ugh. There it is. 10. There's really fun challenges in this game, too, which I'll be doing. Oh. 
Uh-oh. What's the challenge? Kill everything. Oops. Have you heard of a problem with a difficulty spike in this game later on? Well, here's the thing. I played this game probably twice. I don't remember a difficulty spike, but I do remember the game getting harder. Whether or not it happens all at once, I don't remember. But we'll find out, I guess. I'm 100%ing it, so... I don't remember how long- or I have no idea how long this stream will take, either. I don't remember the game being particularly super long, but 100% playthrough, I don't know. Don't get chummy with a mummy! Wait, it said kill all the enemies, but now there's even more. What is the truth, ghoulies? What is the truth? Oh! I think I heard the mummy say wahe. You might have. Rare likes the wahe. Oh shit! What was that? <laughs> I am gonna 100% the game. Definitely. Fragile. Strange that you can't break the fucking thing that says fragile. Uh oh. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Greetings again, sir. Good to see you have made it safely this far. Hmm. You seem to have toasted all of the mummies, so you'll no longer be needing the candle. I mean, I might run into. All right. But I have far better news than that. I have found Miss Amber. Hmm. If so, will forgive me. I have also taken the liberty of freeing her from her bonds. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Mm. Oh. Yeah. At last, no thanks to you, I've been freed by that smelly old butler guy. Oh, I suppose you'll be wanting a hug now. Oh. oh. Sorry, I kind of got held up on the way, but at least you're okay. Oh. Come on, let's go home. I think there's a soccer game on TV tonight. Ugh, oh. oh, you're kidding. That's it. Tie me to the chair again. Uh-oh. Not so fast. You won't want to show yourself in public when I've finished with you. Uh-oh. Oh man, I forgot about this. <laughs> oh, poor Cooper. Oh, poor fucking Cooper. Oh dear, oh my, this is just terrible. That was dastardly Dr. Crackpot. He appears to have transformed Miss Amber into a hideous version of her former self. Let me think. Cook may be able to mix a cure for Miss Amber. Uh, affliction. I'll tell her to expect you. Hmm. She just, sir, will find Cook in the kitchen, which is upstairs beyond the cellar. Hurry now! Now these dudes just walk in with a bunch of fucking wine. Oh, she, she loves him. Hmm. This is just like Shrek. No, Cooper, listen. You're supposed to find her beautiful no matter what. And then you kiss, and then she turns back into a human. Are they? <laughs> Why are they killing her? I didn't know they came in to hit her. <laughs> what the fuck? Stop it, dude. <laughs> Get the fuck off of her, man. That's my girlfriend. I like her better this way. Look at that face. Hold on, I want to go into the light. Come on. Come on. Why jiggle physics? Cause rare, you know. You know rare. Come on, let's go let's go close to this thing. I wanna see his face up close. Hold on, hold on, hold on.
He looks great. Mike, you're making me uncomfortable. I'm sorry. Um, I gotta find the bonus book. I gotta find the bonus book. Sorry, Amber. Uh! Humst. Ah, young love. Is that Gragnor's daughter? You know, <laughs> green skin, pink hair. Could be. Could be. Cooper wants to be Gragnor's son-in-law so bad. Poor Amber, she's just like waddling around. She just wants to kiss Cooper. Where the fuck is the is the bonus book? Uh hmm. Vier. Vier to. Oh there it is. Got it. Let's get the heck out of here. This is crazy. This is so crazy. What is this? Is that insta-kills? The, the soup with the tombstone on it? Listen, I don't think I would drink soup with the tombstone on it. Ah! He doesn't like it. He gave me 30. I'm going to save that just in case. Cooper has the best shot in the world. Look at this. He can fucking clock a spider with a bottle from 15 yards away. Look at this aim. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous aim, Cooper. What do you need besides the bonus books to 100% the game? I believe it's the bonus books, rescue all the children, and then do all the challenges. So I'm gonna do all of that. If there's anything else I'm forgetting, remind me. Those bottles are fucking huge. Well, yeah, dude. Ghoulies don't got nothing else to do all day aside from drink. Oh, see ya. See ya. See ya. At the end of this game, Cooper turns into Koopa, and it turns out this game is a is a prequel to Paper Mario. Really? Is that how it happens? I don't remember that part. I remember the last episode of my playthrough was like 10 minutes of credits. Because you couldn't upload a longer video than 10 minutes, so I was like, alright, this is the last episode, but it's just all credits. Fuck rescuing the people, grab all the wine, and make millions! <laughs> Listen, Amber, I can tell you really fit in here now. I'm gonna leave you here. I'm gonna take all this wine. <laughs> How many parts was the previous playthrough? I believe it went into the 30s. So, I mean, it's not too long of a game. But, I mean, I, I usually do two hours of a game at a time, so I don't know how many parts this will be. Oh, fuck, I forgot about the haunted door! <laughs> they were just like, yo, what fucking objects do we have? Let's just animate- animate the door! Oh, fuck. Hold on, let me go get that. I want to go get that thing. Stay back! Stay back! Mm. Oh. What if we just use the door model as a boss? One hit wonder. Yeah, I think this is insta-kills. Yes! I sure showed him the door! Cooper, please stop. To be fair, the door is animated really well. Yeah, that's the thing though. Like, they took physics objects they just had, and then they animated them super well. I love it. There's so much charm in this game, man. I sure showed him the door! <sighs> Top 10 scariest things in gaming. Number 8, the door from Grab by the Ghoulies. Number 7, the piano from Mario 64. Number 6, the piano from Mario 64! Chapter 2, the restoration. Ugh. This guy has the personality I'd expect of a Cooper. Hey. I'm sure the Cooper- there's- there must be at least one Cooper in chat. Oh, fucking- I fu forgot about Ma Soup's will. I see a photo that looks like it's re real people. 
And now it's Mr. Wait, it was- it looked like real people in the last frame. Now it's Mr. Pants. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Phew! Thank goodness you're here, youngin! These pesky fire imps are spoiling the broth! The fruit roll-up broth! See if you can get this fire extinguisher to work and cool them off! Now I got a, a Ugu. Please don't say Cooper with a hard R. Cooper. Hold the right thumbstick to fire, to fire the extinguisher in the direction you want to attack. Tap the right thumbsticks to swing your weapon. Okay. We need to move on from fruit roll-ups. Never. Yeah, see ya. The fuck out of the- get out of here, dude. Also, I think there's a, a stop and swap easter egg in this room, if I remember correctly. Hold on. I think it's on one of the boards. Book obtained! Where is it? I know there is one. Is it over here? There's Banjo. Look at that. There's Banjo. As a kid, Banjo was my favorite game ever, so like, this was a treat. This made me love the game so much more. Oh. They actually made Stop and Swap do something in the Xbox Live Arcade versions of, uh, of Banjo. It wasn't much, it just unlocked parts and nuts and bolts. Good job, youngin! Let me take back that thing and introduce myself. Ma Soups Will's me name, and fine cookin's me game! Now what's this old Mr. Criven tells me? Sounds like your young lady friend's been getting into a spot of bother. She's been turned pug ugly by some crazy old scientist guy with tin legs! Criven says you can help out with a cure! Sounds like she'll be needing my special potion. Alas, it seems I'm run out of the three ingredients I need. The first being glow worms. Glow worms are used to light the lantern of the old lighthouse. Let me mark your map where you can find it. Pug party! She's pug ugly! You can start by heading through the door to the scullery. Off you go now, child, and the best of luck to ya. Ground pepper. Why does he have an idea? What is his idea? What, is, what are you doing? Where's he going? Oh! Is he gonna go after me or Ma? Go after Ma. Can I distract him with an NPC? Oh. No, he wants me. Oh, yo! Oh, yo! Alright, let's look for that easter egg. I know it's in here. Maybe it's a different room, but I, I could swear there's a fucking swap, stop and swap easter egg in here. Look at all this garbage. What I want to know is why there's like regular ass people working in this haunted mansion. Like, how did Ma Soups will get a job here? Whoa, guys, it's a lie. The cake is a lie. <laughs> did anyone else play Portal? <laughs> Maybe it was on this poster before, I don't know. It's down here. This game looks really dark. Look, it's Mr. Pants. Mr. Pants. That's how you find out who the real gamers are. If you show them a cake and they're like, heh, that's a lie. Alright, I guess it's not in here. Or I just didn't look hard enough, which is usually the case. Galaxy Crabber, thank you for the sub. Again, if I've missed your sub, I apologize heavily. I got the book. I got the book. I got it. I know I did. I got it during the, uh, I got it during the, the part with the fire extinguisher. I got it, guys! Oh, boy. Why does this room feel so familiar? I feel like there's something that, that happens in this room. Is this where we meet the zombies, maybe? It feels like something I remember happening here. Those are all notes on how they're going to redesign Banjo to look like he's made out of Legos. Just squares. To be fair, the new Banjo design wasn't terrible. It's just the teeth I hated. 
They, got, they gave everything teeth nowadays. Why they gotta do that? What is this? Oh, yep, yep, okay. The zombies are just fucking walking fart jokes. They, like, expel clouds constantly. The Reaper. Oh, that's why I remember this room. The Reaper cometh, and you must be top of his list. Sir must complete this challenge within a time limit, or the Grim Reaper will appear. If he touches you, you shall faint instantly. Gadzooks! Okay, so I gotta kill the zombie in 20 seconds, or the Reaper spawns, and he's the guy I was talking about. He follows you around slowly, and he will kill you if he touches you. Get up. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Come on! Come on! Whew. Yeah, he's fucking scary. We'll run into him a lot. <laughs> Didn't get the book yet. Let's see the Reaper and see if he's fuckable. Why is that the first thing you guys think about? Come on. Come on now. Let's not think about whether or not the Reaper's fuckable. Let's just... Let him be. Let him reap. Let him reap the souls of the damned. Will you be streaming Halo 5? No, probably not. I don't got no plans for that right now. Where is the damn book? There it is. Well, is he fuckable? You'll see, I guess, guys. That's up to you to determine, isn't it? It's not up to me. I want to see his re-pussy. Don't. Don't say these things! What does that can do? That looks like an evil can. Isn't this where the dance club was? Oh my fuck. I forgot about this guy. I think this is like a cut enemy or something. This game has a lot of cryptic stuff in it. Like, look at this thing. What is this? Ugh. His name is Klong. <laughs> Ugh. Free Klong. Why is he behind bars? Oh, I only have five health. Ooh, that's not good. Same boat as Amber? Maybe. I'm sorry, Klong. I'll get you out of there. I promise. He's in there for our protection. I want to pick it up, see what it does. Okay, all right. Energy Sapper, figured. But at least I know now. Oh wait, there's a dance club. This is the dance club. We gotta go into the dance club. I see the book behind here. There it is. I remember the dance club. Oh, I remember this room. This is gonna be great. Oh, this is this is fucking awesome, dude. I'm I've been grinning this entire playthrough. This is so good. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion didn't have a fucking dance club. Oh, fuck. They cooking. You can, like... I remember I thought I was so cool as a kid because... Once you go onto the dance floor, you get locked in, and you have to fight them, but... I- I- they definitely want you to do this, but I thought I was the coolest fucking kid in the world, because I figured out you can just stay out here, and kill some of them, like this. You can, like, damage some of them before you even go in. They definitely intended for you to do this, because they put all this shit here. But you can kill off a bunch of them like this before you go in. You don't even have to fight them. Okay, alright, well... This makes it easier. This makes it easier, and there's health. This is pretty much how I handle raves. <laughs> yeah, you just stand outside, throw bottles at the people inside, who cares? Yeah! Listen to this remix. Speedrun strats. I think this is the opposite of speedrun strats. So chat, does anyone know what the, what the record is for this game in speedruns? Any percent. What's the record? Has anyone ever speed ran this game? Oh no, however will I get out of this small wooden flap? 
Carefully does it, young sir. Destroying the crazy dancers could result in trouble on the dance floor. Oh, yeah, you just don't want to hurt them. 57 hours. Wait, what? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything! I guess I bumped into this dude. One hour and 55 minutes. Okay. I guess I bumped into him. Oh, now I gotta fight. I don't have any health. Oh! Oh, shit. Ten minutes, one Let's Play video. Holy shit, holy shit! Get the speed. Did you guys get what that was? Yep, Dragon Ball Z reference. He just farted. Did you see that? Watch, he'll fart. Watch him. Ow. Oh. Alright, I don't know. Pearson, thank you for the sub. Does it feel good? Uh. Whoa, yeah. I watched one of your streams from December 2016 and you talk very different. Well, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, dude. I've changed a lot and I've just gotten more comfortable streaming too. It's like as you stream over time, your mannerisms just, they develop. You talk more differently because it's like, streaming was still relatively new to me. Now I'm more comfortable with it. What is, whoa, hey. Oh, hey, st fucking- What? No, Jesus! Second puberty, too. Yeah, I went through a second puberty. Get on the dance floor. Get on the dance floor. Yeah, see ya. He can't get me now. Is this thing- There's not pl It's not plugged into anything. You like music, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, we got the book, right? Okay. Let's go. Let's get the heck out of here. Whatever. Whatever, dude. Jam to that. Now he's stuck in an eternal dance floor with no music. Oh my god, I forgot about the ninja imps. I forgot about the ninja imps. Are you kidding me, Rare? Do you hear them? <laughs> I forgot about these guys. <laughs> also, Jesus Christ. Pay no attention. Oh, fuck. They're here. Do you hear the music? This new icon means sir must find the ghoulie key, which means the key to the door is hidden inside a ghoulie, naturally. Alright, so one of these ninjas has the- Oh my god, there's so many! They all look like Jinjos, yeah. Oh, give me this, give me this wheelbarrow. Good camera, good camera. Oh! Oh shit, come over here, come over here. Come on, come on. Oh my god, did you see that? You see that attack? <laughs> That's great! Watch this, hold on, hold on. Watch this, watch this. Come on, come on everyone, get over here. Come on. Yes! Yes! No! Are Jinjos actually imps? This is a good question. Sure, Belle. Hey. Oh, wait, that guy's glowing gold. He must have it. That one over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's got it. Okay. Come on. This music, dude. 
Uh, I'll come back for you, don't worry. Wait, what does this do? Does this freeze them? Freeze ghoulies. Omae wa mo shinderu. Tokyo wa homuki dasu. <laughs> I should have taken advantage of that, but I wanted to see what happened. Where is this gold, dude? Where is he? Is that him? This dude must be him because he's running away. That was... Nope. Wasn't him. Where is this you? It's gotta be you. There he is. There's no escape. Yeah, karate can't save you from that, asshole. Get the book. Yeah, I gotta get the book. More? That fucking stock giggle sound effect that they use in everything. Where is the book? Where is the book? Hmm. There it is. Was I just, like, super lazy in my first playthrough? Like, these books aren't particularly difficult to find. Catch you later, Pearson. Thank you for stopping by. And thank you guys, all everyone, for stopping by. We still almost, we almost have 400 people here, which is absolutely ridiculous for me. Thank you. Let's go. Boathouse. Wow, I feel like we're blasting through this game. Wavlion, thank you for the sub! I think when I did my original playthrough, this was like probably at least part 10 by now. I forgot entirely about this dude. Mo, my middle! You gave me a fright, youngin. I was... I were busy adjusting me tackle in the boathouse. I be old Fiddlesworth, the groundskeeper. Uh, pleased to meet you, I think. Where might you be heading, lad? Not through the boathouse and out towards old lighthouse, I hope. Grand place, that, till it were overrun by the undead. Don't fiddle your tackle box. <sighs> yeah, he was adjusting his tackle. Best take this with you. It be full of sacred water that them horrors don't like. Hold the right thumbstick to fire the thing in the direction you want to attack. Tap the... Yeah, I know. Bring it back, mind, because it belongs to me nephew, Little Willie. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Fiddle Six. <laughs> I love how unnecessary that information is. It belongs to my nephew, Little Willie. Oh, isn't the humpback in here? There's like this dude called the humpback, and he's like, he's got like a million health. Watch this. This feels cool as shit. They melt. Isn't that cool? Oh, I love it. What is this lore? What is this lore? Do you see him? He just farted. There was a cloud. <gasps> I think the humpback is here on the return trip, if I remember correctly. Oh shit! Oh no! We gotta kill all the zombies. Just the zombies! I mean, the other ones are fine. Also, Crazy Goober, thank you for the sub! Give me this. No, no, no. No, no, no! Is that zombie smaller than the other one? Oh no. Oh, whew, we did it. This game seems super neat, but the pacing is really odd. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely far from a perfect game. There's a lot of weird stuff with it. Also, that looks just like On Guard. And I wouldn't be surprised if that was intentional. Alright, um... That ghost lady was just a, uh, was just a scare thing, like the telephone. You can tell it's coming, and you gotta get away from it so you don't get spooked. Here comes Daddy Reaper. Not yet. 
I like to think that this soup only works on Cooper because it's got Cooper's face on it. And she's been making this soup of a prophesized boy for, for decades and he's finally arrived. Oh, there it is. I love how much stuff you can break in this game. It's so not necessary and it's awesome. Old Seaman's Wood Stain. <laughs> Captain Black Eye's Barnacle Remover also removes wink wrinkles or winkles. That looks like winkles. Penguin, thank you for the sub. W-I-N-K-L-E-S. Winkles. <laughs> okay. All right. Crazy Goober, that was really, really kind of you to say. Thank you. Thank you for being here, and just thank you for being awesome. I, I could never do all of this stuff without you guys as an audience, really. Oh, fuck Medusa. Ugh. Not fuck Medusa. I mean, like, oh, fuck, it's Medusa. Oh, no. Man. Oh, boy. Doesn't work on Medusa. <laughs> the book isn't in the rare box? What is this, scare proof? Shocker blocker, right. If she sees you, you gotta do like a scare mini game. Oh, wow, holy shit. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm, in, I'm immune to it. I'm immune to it. It does it for you. It does it for you. The idea for this game came from a pun in British humor where ghoulies means testicles. Yeah, that would be rare. Rare would do that. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I only have one health. Oh shit. What is this dude dancing for? He definitely has the key. You got the key, right? No? Does she have the key? Fucking A. I can't even pick anything else up because I have this gun. If you die and restart the room, will the health be different? Or the health will be di I don't know. I don't know if it will. I gotta find the book, too. Oh, oh 10 health. Yo. Oh my god, how do you even hit her? Medusa, please. You guys remember that episode of the Powerpuff Girls with the Medusa whose name was Sedusa? Yeah, gotcha. I think red means I can't hit her. Yeah, okay. Want to avoid that. The health is set for each room. All right, good to know. Okay, all right. Yep. Good to know, I say, and then I immediately fuck up again. Oh, good. Whew. What's up, Riley? Happy birthday. Wait, he didn't... Who had the key, then? Oh, it wasn't a ghoulie key. It was just a regular key. Gotcha. But where's the where's the where's the book? I didn't get it. Nope. Sometimes I pick them up by accident. Fuck, I could have used that. Guess it's good to check everything. That I don't want to pick up. The random health thing seems so weird. I don't know why they did that. I guess it's so they could adjust the difficulty for each room individually, which is kind of smart, but it's also just a, it's strange. Like, could you imagine if other games did that? You just walk through a door and your health gets randomized. My birthday is the night after yours, or the day after yours, Mike. Birthday neighbors. Where the fuck is the book? Maybe it's in this? It's in here? Wow, I have no idea where it is. There's a mode that makes it so you always have 10 HP in each room. Hmm. I broke that. Broke that, broke that. There's gotta be a book here somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's back at the fucking... Look at this. They, they're, they're tricky. Fucking at the start. Look at this. Look at these water physics. Let's keep going. Why don't I just pick up one of these harpoons? Holy shit. This dude can, can swing around an entire pool table. There's no reason he couldn't pick up a harpoon. Just start going to town on these ghoulies. Oh my god. They're fucking fanning their asses. 
Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. There's captain. There's the captain. Cards all wrong. You cheat. Me bet you betray best friend. Me teach you lesson. Hmm, not all coolies get along, sir. The smiley face means that these two have become traitors and will attack each other instead of you. Beware, though. If they run out of coolies to attack, they will look for the next best thing. Oh, I forgot you could pick up their arms as weapons. They're traitors. What? Oh, the TV. Oh, I can kill this with the, with the water gun. That makes sense. Davy Jones. Hey, that's from... I mean, I know Davy Jones isn't from Banjo, but that was, uh... That's where you go to fight, uh... Lord Woo Woo Fak Fak. Look at the smoke coming out of the toilet. Holy shit. I want to see how this ends. Place your bets, chat. Which one's gonna win? The left zombie or the right zombie? I think it's going to be the right zombie, technically. I think that the right one has to win, right? The right one has to win, unless I give him a little help. I give him a little help. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what happens when you fight with your friends, dude. Don't fight with your friends. They're your friends. Who is this? a snake? Is this a character from a game I'm not familiar with? Also, the camera, like, really won't zoom in. I rigged it. Look at this bath water. Holy shit. I want my bits back. Sorry. I never said I wouldn't interfere. Oh, shit! Zombie pirate! Look at him! Look at him walk! I right, swap the decks. Did he just say that? <laughs> I think he just said, "Gotta swap the decks." <laughs> Rare really likes pirates, don't they? All the pirate shit in Banjo. Now they're making a pirate game, and this. Rare loves pirates. Let's keep going. Pirates are cool, you nerd. I'm not saying they're not. Daddy zombie pirate can swab my deck anytime. I don't need to read these things. I need to stop. 10 health, but there's not even any enemies up here. You got the glow worms. Now we're making progress. What you're waiting? What are you waiting for? Bring them back to me. One imp. C he came in swinging. What is that? What was that? The imp? There it is. Whoa! What? What? Why is his head huge? I don't remember that. What? Get off of my head! <laughs> Ow! Little shit. Strong motherfucker and powerful. He got a big aid. Shut your big aid up. Lighthouse living quarters. All right, we're back in here. I wonder if that TV is haunted again. Nope. Unless it, you can't hurt it before it comes to life. Someone put a book in the bathtub in the five seconds it took me to, to enter and leave. What do we got? Look at that guy. Oh, he's like a turtle man. Ten zombies in 50 seconds. Holy shit. I can do that. I can do that. Look at the baby ones. We are not even going to see this reaper in the whole playthrough. Easy. We're not going to see the reaper at all. 
And look, I can even get more time. Ha! Ha! We want the Reaper, Mike. Listen. The Reaper's too scary for me. If I can avoid the Reaper, I will. We'll see the Reaper, don't worry. We'll see him. This game gets really fucking tough. Yeah, you can't get away from me, little telly. This is so crazy that I'm playing this again. Don't fear the Reaper. Actually, do. He's a son of a bitch. He's a son of a bitch! What are you doing here, Mr. Fiddlesticks? Uh -huh. Crunch my carrots! <laughs> you showed them undead beasties a thing or two, young master. You won't be needing that water squirter no more, so I'll have it off here. Little Willie will be wanting to play with it, see? You run along back to Ma now. I'll be off to the farmyard. I hear there be a pest on the loose that needs exterminating. Okay. I hope wi little Willie enjoys... Oh, there it is. Look, at they did it again. They put it right near the entrance. To be or not to be. Is there gonna be a- is it gonna get locked or can I just run out? Can I just run out? Let me run out! Let me run out! Yes! To do some Medusas. There are some outdoor areas too later on. Also removes Winkles. I could swear this is where we run into- yeah, we got 45 health. This is definitely where we run into Humpy. Where are you, Humpy? He jumps out of the treasure chest, I bet. I thought that said pickle. Need this. Super weapon. Come at me, Humpy. I know you're in there. Oh my god! <laughs> Egad, sir has happened across the hunchback. He's a very resilient adversary, though he is terribly protective of his handsome face. Yeah, he doesn't let you hit him in the face. <laughs> he doesn't want- he doesn't like that. Oh, he's pissed. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! Come on, come on. Oh. That's fucking Dompe. I also need to find the- oh, there it is. Every fucking time I say I need to find the book, I find it. You want- you want a piece- a piece of me? You- you ugly fuck? He thinks he's so beautiful. He's not. Turn around. Turn around, you- you- you sack of shit. This dude fights like I would in real life. Yeah, come get me, idiot! Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, you're not so tough. Come on, give me, give me fuck it, I'll kick your ass. Oh, no, no. I think you gotta piss him off first. I think you have to piss him off. And then when he does his spin move, then he gets dizzy. Oh my god! <laughs> Beat the scoliosis out of him. I probably could have used that anchor, but he destroyed it. Ooh. Kick his ass. You know, I think he, he likes, looks like he's shoving his fist right up in there. You see this? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Come on. What is this? What's going on here? Oh, I got him. I got him. Got him. I guess this is like a boss, kinda. He's very sad. Like, he's really up- like, he's just depressed sounding, you know? Stunlock, my dude. What? Why isn't he getting pissed anymore? He's not, like, entering that rage state. Come on. Come on. 
He's sad because you're kicking his ass, Mike. No, I'm not trying to- I'm just- I need to get out of the room. If I could get out of here without hurting this dude, I would. But this is the only way. He entered the acceptance state and is ready to die. Got him, got him, got him. Got him. Get off my back, hunchy! Cooper's fucking rocking these puns. Get off my back, hunchy. Hunchy. Got the book, right. So you start throwing shit all over the room. Hunty. Hunt back. Oh my god. That burp sound effect. I'm hunchy. I'm sweaty. I'm hunchy. Yeah. Wah! Should probably save that. Oh my fuck. What is this? He's got the book at his table. <laughs> Shiver me timbers. This cheeky intruder be after our v our vittles? Give him your cutlass to chew on and some peat. And you three rickets ridden rats better keep this grub coming. Me tapeworms not even half full yet. That invincibility? It looks like it. Okay. Look at these skeletons. They're just forced to... They're like prisoners. What you playing at, Pete? This maggot's going to spoil the grub. Show them how it's done, boys, and make shark bait out of this here lober. There's Harry Potter. There he is. Defeat the pirates. I can do that. I'm invincible. You can't touch me. You can't touch me. Oh my god. There's some good shit inside the grandfather clock, I believe. Alright. Heh, <laughs> this mute the mutiny begins. Come on, bony. Come on, bonies. We kick pirate butt now. Oh, they're gonna help. They're gonna help. Yes, jellyfish is helping. Freeze, 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 freeze. Yes. He's dead. Got the got the captain. Read Bony bedtime story now. Tell Bony about time Bony kill pirates and Bony rescue princess. Throw the cheeseburgers. Harry, I'll come back for you, Harry. Want cheeseburgers? Want cheeseburgers? You want the food? Eat the food! We be taking a good hard thrashing, shipmates. Call the rest of the undead crew to join the party. Oh no. We gotta find, we gotta, someone said something about a, the grandfather clock. Let's check it. Oh fuck, there's so many of them. Oh shit! You were right. Oh my god, holy shit. Get fucked. Cooper kicks ass. See ya. Holy shit. One punch man. One punch boy. Are they- Wait, but I was- We were on the same team, though. You guys really gonna do this to me right now? After all we've been through? Skellingtons? Please. Come on. Come on. In- In- In this- In this sacred place of feast? Alright. Okay. Listen, tell the other skeletons what you saw. All right, never mind. I was gonna let you live, but if you wanna sock me in the jaw, then you can you can go to heck. I don't give a shit. I got the book. It was on the table. They want under your skin. Our friendship meant nothing to you, skeletons. We're back in the in the embassy ballroom. That's another thing about this game is that it's very like. At this point, at least, I don't think it ever really opens up, but it's very linear. Like, you can't really explore at your leisure. You might be able to later on when you have to collect the, the children. But I don't particularly remember it being very open. I'm gonna destroy the music. Will it make them stop dancing? Nope. 
Turns out none of them even have functioning ears. Look at this dude. When you got no friends at the party, but you still came to fucking slap. <laughs> the book is back. The book is in the back. What? I don't have fucking ears! Oh my god, no. No, no. Oh wait, he's on my team, he's on my team. Wait a minute. He's on my team. This dude's just gonna go kill everyone on the dance floor. Cause he's invincible. There's no fire. <laughs> go get him, dude. <laughs> That's great. Oh, there's the book. I see it. Friendly heavy. Oh, that's the lonely guy, though. Come on, let him be. Award or annual monster mash contest. <laughs> Is he saying uncle? Jesus Christ! <laughs> He's saying Anka. Oh no, I bumped into- fuck, I forgot you shouldn't do that. Alright, mummy, it look, looks like it's just you and me. Help me. Yes, good, good smashing! Get smashing, get smashing, dude! Holy shit! Need me a brute like that. Zombie arm. Everyone gives, says Breath of the Wild did this first. Nope. No one says it. No one says Breath of the Wild did it first. Alright. Oh, come on. Yeah! I think, one, I think one of the pillars has freeze in it. That's speed. Uh, nope. Oh, fuck. Freeze is fun. I wanted that. If I can get my hands on Freeze. Nope. Is this left for dead? No, it's less left to dead. It's just me and the- Oh my god, this guy's a fucking monster. There it is. This is- this is the best fucking power-up. Holy shit. <laughs> See ya. They're all dead. Alright, I'll let you- I'll let you finish off that dude, mummy. Go get him. Go get him. He's just for you. Alright, I'll help. I'll help, because you're gonna take too long. You're gonna take too long, mummy. Now the mummy's gonna betray me. Friendships are short-lived in Ghoulhaven Manor. You better not betray me. What is that look he's giving me? Is he really gonna- is he staying my friend? Really? You're not gonna- Yo, this guy's alright. This guy's alright. I hope we meet again, my mummy friend. I'll be back. I'll be back someday. You you keep being cool. You keep being cool, dude. This is his disco. I just cleaned it up. We cleaned it up together. All right. Well. Ah, you again. All right, let's go get the book before I forget to. It's over here on the table. Life comes at you fast, DJ Mummy. Life comes at you fast. You. Maybe he was, wasn't was attacking me because there was technically still ghoulies in the room? Like, now that thing's dead. I got it. I got it! See ya! Ugh! This is so- this is great. I'm having such a good time with this stream. 
It's been wonderful. What happens when you run out of health? Does Cooper have a fucking heart attack? Yeah. He just fucking has cardiac arrest immediately. You know what's crazy is this game has the same health bar as Luigi's Mansion 2. There's old Krong. Don't bring game logic into this, Mike. He doesn't he doesn't attack you because he's your friend. You're right. I was a fool. Oh, you guys. I only have five HP. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh my god, one of them hit the other hit the other one. Oh, just fucking just leave. No, 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 no. No! <laughs> oh shit. Klong, please. We didn't break 400, we got to 394 though. Yeah, that was pretty damn high. That was pretty damn high. Oh fuck, Dizzy Reaper. Does that mean like we're definitely gonna get the Reaper in here? Oh man. I think that just confuses the Reaper. Where are these, what's going on here? What's the deal? Do not kill imps. Looks like you need to be selective with your pummeling for this challenge, young sir. The cross icon behind a ghoulie head means do not defeat any ghoulies of that breed. Sir may still beat on them a little. Just try to resist the urge to go all the way or old Grim will come to do a little reaping. Don't go all the way. I'll get to you in a second. Sheriff Willie, thank you for the sub. Alright, he's dead. Oh no. I just can't- I can't hit this dude. I don't want to hit him. Oh no. Okay, come on. <gasps> no. Ooh, I almost hit him. I almost hit him. Oh, he's one of those radioactive ones. Oh, get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. I don't want to hit you, but just get off me. That's it. Yeah, the hits are super satisfying in this game. Oh, now I can hit him. <laughs> They're super satisfying. They're like really, they just got a huge impact to them. Alright, good. Let's go. Let's go. I got the book. I honestly want to see the Reaper. Alright. Maybe next time he's available, I'll, I'll let him come. I'll let him come. Uh-oh. Is there even anything bad going on in this room? I think this is just if I give her the glow worms. You want the wormies? Excellent work, youngin. You sure done well to brave them evil critters and bring back these mighty fine glow worms. I'll put them in the pot to simmer while you get searching for the next ingredient. A giant egg. G-I-N-T-E-G-G. -G. You can try searching the chicken shed out in the old farm. Let me show you on your map where it is. Chicken shade. We gotta get a giant egg. I like eggs. Otto, thank you for the sub too. Oh, there's the book right there. Easy. Are you okay with this dude? Cool. What? <laughs> She's still smiling. I used her as a shield. Is he drinking alcohol? You can't put that in a game. Pieces of eight. Pieces of eight. Pieces of eight. Oh, he was pissed because I hit him while he was drinking. Pieces of eight. Pieces of eight. Pieces of eight. Really don't like when they interrupt. When you interrupt their drinking, they are not. They are not happy. Oh my god, that killed him in one hit. The sward. Yo. She's just dead now. Cooper would use a sword that looks like this. Did he just pull a treasure chest from his crotch? Yeah, you bet he did. Let's go into the freezer. I'm probably going to switch games soon, as much as I don't want to. I'll play for another, like, 20 minutes, then, I'll, then I'm going to switch. Then we're going to Silent Hill, which I'm very scared of. 
The f f f f f f f f freezer. I remember that. Yo. Okay. Oh, he's he's friendly. Friendly heavy. Oh, but there's no one else to fight. Okay, hold on, hold on. We gotta get another one. For the crew. Come on. Someone else to fight. Get someone else to fight. There, 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 there. Go nuts. Go nuts. Have fun. Oh, two. Two friendly pirates. I entirely forgot about this whole friendly monster thing. And there, our old friend is back. Friendly mummy. Guys, we gotta name the mummy. We gotta name him. He's gonna be a recurring character. What is this? Is this a baguette? When is Resident Evil 7? October just started. It'll happen. The chummy mummy. Call him Mort. Got the book. It's 30 books already. Holy shit. Why does that dude look like Dick Dastardly? He looks like Dick Dastardly mixed with Waluigi. Is there like no objective in this room? Can I just leave? Okay. I kind of want to just like keep fucking fighting. Yo, this game needs a deathmatch mode. Mommy, come on. We got to finish these guys off. Oh, mommy, you're so strong. <laughs> keep it keep it going. Keep kill this kill this motherfucker. I just want to see if he'll attack me again. I want to see if he if he's going to let me live. Will he remain friendly? Oh no, I don't think so. What's happened? I thought we were friends! Oh, he's gonna kill me! Betrayal. No, 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 no. Then why didn't the last one attack me? What was the deal? Uncle Thrust? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I remember this part. There's like a, a dumpster you can swing around. Betrayal. It's really dark out here. Should probably save that. Pick up this. I think there's spiders out here, if I remember correctly. It's super dark. Hmm. You dump. It's sad because this is... This in Banjo-Kazooie is just full of, of ghoulies. It's poetry. It rhymes. 30 spiders? Means that Sir may only fight using weapons. Should Sir put a foot or fist wrong, the Reaper will intervene. Okay. I feel like the Reaper's gonna end up coming here. I can't even hit them accidentally? Oh, wait. Guys. Guys, this is the fucking best. I completely forgot about this. Watch this. Are you ready? Mini Cooper. <laughs> he, he just fucking helps. Go get him. Oh, he's gone. Alright, we get it. Tiny Rick. God, stop. No! Oh, I almost hit him! I almost hit him. Hold on, hold on. Time to take out the trash! Does he count as a weapon? I guess so, because I didn't get in trouble. Time to take out the trash! Was that a Powerpuff Girls sound effect? I think it was. Oh, fuck. Oh, no! Oh, my God. This is my nightmare! Holy shit. Yo, what's up, Brendan? Alright, I know people want to see the Reaper. Fuck. Let me get down to, like, one. People want to get to- well, people want to see the Reaper. Oh god. Alright, fine, I'll do it. I'll do it. There he is. Here he comes. 
Okay, so now... This is terrifying because he just slowly stalks you while you try to finish your challenge. And he holds his hand out, and if he touches you, you lose. And he makes everything around him black and white, which is super cool. Look at that. That's such a cool effect. Oh. Uh. No! Is that what you wanted, chat? <laughs> is that what you wanted? <laughs> it gets really tough. It gets really tough. It doesn't- it, I don't have the book still. Yeah, I got comboed. Well, that's what it does, so now you know. We're gonna meet him a lot throughout the playthrough. Trust me. It gets tough. I forgot about the guitar thing, but I did- I did remember the- the black and white stuff. That's very cool. We gotta find the book. I should not destroy all of the things that I can use, though. He's deaf fuckable Okay. Go get him, Mini Cooper. Go get him. You got this. Go get him. That is a Powerpuff Girls sound effect. You're right. Kill him. Kill him. Yeah, go get him. I think he died fast last time. Oh, shit. Another one? Double Mini Cooper. Go. Do you get it? Mini Cooper? Like, it's a, it's a car? Very funny. Very cool. This game is scary. I remember seeing the case for this game at Blockbuster and refusing to look directly at it. Please, come on. It's good. It's a good game. Where are all these spiders at? Very cool is not a little bear thing, though. You fool. Little bear is ha, very good. Ha <laughs> very good. Okay, we need more of these spiders. Okay, there we go. Oh, shit! Get him! Yeah! Close enough, you dingus. No, it's not. I got your toothpaste! Or gel training toothpaste. Haha, <laughs> very good. Time to sweep up the competition. What episode is that clip from? It's from a fucking toothpaste commercial. <laughs> very cool is the red letter media thing. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, two more. Two more. Uh, no, 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 no. Got him. Nice. Whew. Very cool. Yeah, fake little bear fans. SMH. Well, welcome, Bolo. Chat, would you keep one of these spiders as a pet if it was nice? Because it's like, it's like kind of dog-sized a little bit, and they make cute noises, but it's still a spider. I would say no, because it's a spider. Did you get the book? Oh shit, did I get the book? I don't think I got the book. Oh no. Wait a minute, I don't think I got it. How do I get it? How do I get it? How do I go back? How do I go back? I want to get it. I need to get it. Restart the game. Features. Bonus challenges. Replay storybook. Replay chapter. Replay scene. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This should let me get it. How much have I missed? Uh, like, two hours. Uh, garbage, garbage yard. Let's do it. He almost got grabbed. Yeah, I almost got grabbed by the ghoulies. Go to bonus challenges and press RB. Hold on, let me grab this. I wonder if I can grab it 
if if it like counts in the replay mode. It should. I don't see why it wouldn't. Where the fuck would it be? I looked pretty much everywhere. I guess it's it must be inside something. You missed like 20 or 30 Let's Play videos too, yeah. Welcome to my Let's Play channel, guys! Today we're gonna be playing, um, Grab by the Ghoulies. Um, my name is Michael and I'm 15 years old. There it is. 31, okay. I'm sure that counted. I think I gotta complete the room again, though. I'm 15 years old. And, um, this is my playthrough of the Grab by the Ghoulies. Um, I don't have any subscribers, but I hope that you enjoy it anyway. Fifteen yees old. Y e e s yees. Did fifteen-year-old Mike say fuck? I think by that point I had started saying fuck. Probably not as much as I say it nowadays, because I'm a grumpy old man now. Ugh. Super weapon? Now it won't break. Okay, good. I've, this is like the third time I've done this room, and it's like the the most enemies so far. What a room to repeat. But yeah, I want to do a cameo playthrough. I haven't played cameo since it like came out. Cameo is really fun. I remember being super impressed. There's like this part in cameo where you like ride a horse through like thousands of orc troops, and it looked super impressive. All right, that did it. What's your opinion on these spiders, smash or pass? My opinion on all spiders is smash. Smash. Someone said go to this page and press RB. Why, does that do anything special? This doesn't, it's not doing anything. Oh, left bumper, oh, it shows bonus books, gotcha, okay. Yeah, okay, so this let's just make sure it, it saved our progress. Okay, good. We still got them all. Nice, alright, that's the where that's where you check. We can do some we'll do the challenges at the end, I think. Alright, let's do like one more. Or I don't know, I haven't even been playing for two hours yet. Alright, so now we got the flying imps. Hopefully I won't have any problems with, uh, Silent Hill on my PS2 console. I think I've, I've made all of the necessary preparations, but you never know. So there might be some, some tech problems, but hopefully there won't be. Cooper, break the wood. Just fucking break this giant log. You can't do it? Thank you, Toaster Man. I like the, I like the new pictures, too. I think they, they came out good. See ya. If Silent Hill 2 was so good, why isn't there a Silent Hill 2 2? See, you're asking the important questions. How long have I been playing? Uh, uh, two hours almost. What is this blue box for? Hmm. This is scary. This is scary. <laughs> what exactly do flying imps bring to the table that the other imps don't? They still die in like two hits. Yo, give me the cleaver. I'm gonna cleave some, some skulls. Look at that. Absolutely decimated. Am I gonna do Inktober? Um, I mean, I, I just, just am gonna draw whenever I feel like it. I'm not really gonna stick to the schedule of it. I'm gonna try to stream as much as I can in October. So that'll be good. How do you- how does one hide in a stump like that? It's not even hollowed out, it's just a, a, a solid stump. Unless- unless flying imp eggs are, are laid within stumps and they are hatching and emerging. I, I need to pick up the soup cans. 
I'm at soup. Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? Fuck you. Uh oh, Medusa. Oh, not now, not now, please. Please, not now. Please, not now. Let me just go. Let me just go. I got the book. I got the book. I'm getting out of here. You'd think Cooper would have gotten used to all the creepy-ass creatures by now. Yeah, you'd think. Outside area. Welcome to Farmer Pumpkin's Barnyard Disco Sing-Along. <laughs> it's the little... <laughs> Crush my crop. I be getting a good pasting and no mistake. And no mistake, get this monstrous piece off me back, will you, lad? It's the fucking sailor one. What does that one do? What is this? Challenge complete. That just finishes the challenge? Alright, well I guess I fu fucked up by picking that up so early. <laughs> Why is this? <laughs> Why doesn't he just kick it? This little sailor dude. Yeah, let's let's kick his ass, dude. Me and this sailor dude, friends for life. Yeah, fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. Oh, I'm sorry. Bye. Oh no. Look what this cowardly dog's done to Roger, the cabin boy. <laughs> he only had two days left till his retirement. Show yourselves and make shark bait out of him, you motley bunch of scumbags. Oh my god, poor Roger. <laughs> he only had two days to retirement. Oh no. We only have, what? This, this amount of time to kill everything? We gotta kill everything? Get the fuck out of here. Why don't you help? There's just skeletons carrying cheeseburgers. What are those? Potatoes? I don't know what those are. Mini Cooper, help me. And you. Time. Ah, we could have got that challenge complete soup. Oh my god. Maybe we have a moment of silence for Roger. Will we kick the shit out of these zombies? Okay, we got how much time? 35 seconds? I think this is the only dude left. Oh, and the skeletons. Give me this. One hit kill. One hit kill. Get up. See ya. Let's kill the skeletons. Oh. Er, I reckon we've taught this dog his lesson. Nothing can bring Roger back. So, uh, time for me to bite off now. No, bite off. Be off now, I be thinking. We gotta kill the skeletons. They count, I guess. F, Roger. F. Whoa, whoa! What what are you carrying? Are those potatoes? The Reaper's gonna come, dude. Fuck. Whew. Oh my god, that was close. Miss you, Roger. Miss you, baby Roger boy. I thought the game just crashed. Yo horror! You again? What do you want? Peel my potatoes! You're, what is that visual glitch I'm seeing? You certainly got some courage in you, young'un. Thank you for helping me out. What's that you say? Off inside the chicken shed? Beware, lad. There ain't no normal chickens in there. But I've got something that maybe you can use on them. A fucking gun, lad! You ever seen one of these? This be old Edna. Giant cloves of me most pungent and potent garlic she be shooting. Just what you needin' in there. And be dubious looking and well used. A bit dubious looking and well used she may be. But what she be lacking in looks she more than makes up for in performance. Take a good look. Take a good care of her, lad. Me and Edna have some ripe old times together. Okay. Thanks again, Mr. Fiddle DD. <laughs> Book? I got the book, didn't I? I missed the book again. I missed the fucking book again. Alright, here's the deal. Here's the deal. 
I'm gonna do this room. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna do this room. Then I'll go back, get the book, and I'll be done. Or you know what? We'll do the chicken shed next time. We'll do the chicken shed next time, and I'll go get the book. And then we'll switch games, because it's been two hours. Let me, uh, let me, let me go back, get the book. I'm an absolute dullard. I know, I know. But, this works, this works out. This works out well. I didn't mean to do that. Play scene. Farmyard. But, now we know that there's a can that we can collect and just finish the challenge, so it'll be easy. Yeah, we're gonna use the can. But where the fuck was the book? I still can't get over how nice this game looks in, like, widescreen. It looks really, really, really nice. If not a little dark. I don't remember it being this dark. Alright, let's see. Book where... Yeah, I definitely didn't find the book. I was gonna yell at you guys if I found the book and everyone was like, Mike, you didn't get the book, you fucking asshat! The Greatest Hits version of Silent Hill 2 has extra story content. Is that the version you have? No, I just have the original. I just want to play the original. I'm good. I'm good with it. Alright, well, I don't need that stuff. If I'm gonna automatically complete the challenge, I just have to find the book. You don't need to finish the challenge. You just need to get the book? It's by the door. You don't need to do the challenge. Okay. That's pretty good. By the door... By by the door, do you mean the door I came out of? Hmm. Cooper, you're so slow. Well, where's the sprint button? How come there's no cover? There it is. Okay. Gotcha. Alright. Well, apparently I don't need to complete the challenge, but I'm gonna just- I'm just gonna do it anyway, because I want to see what happens when you get the can. Does it, like, kill everything? Does it- We have to relive Roger's death another time. Uh-oh. I just want to- it just ends? Okay, well, we'll see. I want to see. Poor Roger. We hardly knew ye. We know he liked to party. We know he liked striped shirts. We know he liked pirates. We know he was close to retirement. He was probably old. Oh, okay. I guess that's it. Guess that's it. Alright. Well, we don't need to watch this again. Okay, well, that was grabbed by the ghoulies for the night. Rest in peace, Roger. You'll never be forgotten. Uh, I'm so glad I decided to do this. I'm so glad. This is this has been such a trip down memory lane for me. And I hope that you guys are enjoying it too. I'll probably play more of it in two days. I don't know if I'm going to do it again tomorrow. But let's see. This is how many challenges there are. It's 20 challenges, I think. So we're going to do these all eventually. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll hold them off for now. Well, hold on. You play as Amber in some of them, I believe. All right, well, that was grabbed by the ghoulies. I'm going to switch to Silent Hill 2, which will be a blind playthrough. Uh, I may have technical difficulties during it, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully there won't be. There's 100 books in all. All right, well, that's good. Then maybe this will take me like three or four streams. Yeah, I'll, I'll go back. I'll leave. All right. This is a nice remix. I like this. That's good. I like it. Alright, I'll be right back. Please hold. <laughs> 